Persons of interest have been identified in a threat to Fairfax High School made last night on social media. Fairfax City Police is investigating and say they have found no weapons to connect any real threat. Peggy Fox is looking into how school leaders are dealing with this onslaught of recent online threats. A number of students stayed home from Fairfax High School today after a threat was posted on Twitter last night. The threat appears to have come from a student. Fairfax City Police say they have identified persons of interest, have been to a home, have interviewed people, and have confiscated a cell phone. Fairfax City Police also tell us they're conducting a search warrant on that phone. At the school, extra police officers and even FBI agents were on hand to ease people's minds. I let her come to school. I went to work, but she's been uh, texting me every hour. She said that there was a lot of cops and SWAT team. Yeah. So she's been afraid? School. Oh yeah, absolutely. How, how can you not be afraid with something like that? So here's the question for schools. How are they handling this new changing world with social media? We asked Fairfax County School Board Chair J.D. Strauss. We investigate immediately. Things have changed. I mean, there are new platforms and there's new names. How do you keep track of it all? And this is the challenge. We live in an era, particularly in the last week, where you don't know if the, the, the text message, is it real? Is it being amplified by a bot? Is it being sent out to increase fear? When some kind of a threat naming a particular high school goes out, it gets spread. Yes, it fear does. goes up. That's right. That's right. And we will have, in any given week, uh, we will have ongoing investigations, but our own students are very, very helpful. But right now, we need to calm this fear. We are on top of it, and we will keep our kids safe. Now, as far as the incident here at Fairfax High School, police also tell us they found no weapons to corroborate any real threat. In Fairfax, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. At this point, no arrest has been made in the Fairfax High School threat. We do know that the post was filled with curse words and appeared to come from a student who was angry about being suspended. And then there were